This is the second lesson, uh, continuation on what I had explained previously. So I was explaining uh, things to do with the relative speed and uh, for approaching bodies. So in the previous part, I did uh, one example that I called basic because maybe <clears throat> as you keep working out the questions, there are some small changes that come with them. So today I'm going to show you the second example and uh, if possible notice the difference. And before I begin, just make sure that if what I'm doing is helpful to you, at least show some love, like and uh, maybe share. So now the second example is uh, still on approaching bodies, just like uh, the other question, but then in this case, you notice that the two points A and B. I had the speeds. Speed from A is 60 kilometers per hour. B, 40 kilometers per hour. Time, 7 a.m., 8 a.m. And that's where the difference is. Difference in time. Unlike the first question where for the two bodies, the times in both cases were the same but in this case time here is seven a lot of time here is eight so notice the difference so the question is a car left point a for b at 7 a.m at 60 kilometers per hour on the same day at 8 a.m a bus left town b for a at a speed of 40 kilometers per hour given that the distance between A and B is uh, 360 kilometers. There are some questions we need to solve. So when you're doing questions, in most cases, our Kuletangi questions, and your time na time ni same. So this is now like a real question where there is a difference in a departure time for the two bodies. So when you're working out this question, there are things that will be asked and to explain if possible every part of what can be asked in such a question so first of all to start with we want to work out a question to do with it. find the distance covered by the car before the bus took off you see this left early and this left later on so it means it covered some distance before this one took off and that's what they want so when they say find the distance covered by the car before the bus took off from those three basic um, formulas for the distance will always be speed times time so now if you want to calculate distance covered by this car what is its speed its speed is 60 kilometers then the time it took before this took off it took one, you get the time difference between eight and seven time difference between eight and seven should be one hour so in a manisha it traveled for one hour before this one took off so you'll say its speed time the times the time it took before the other one uh, departed so when you multiply these two you'll get 60 kilometers so it means before the bus took off the car had covered a distance of uh, 60 kilometers okay question b question b is uh, calculate the relative distance what is relative distance relative distance is uh, any distance between two bodies just before both of them begin to move remember here ends up to 7 now here up to 8 we cannot say that the relative distance is 360 that is wrong if you want to get the relative distance is that time when both the two bodies are moving for the first time and that should be at eight at eight this one is moving at eight this one is moving it was somewhere but to the point where it is it had covered how many kilometers 60 so that remaining distance of the whole distance is what you call relative distance and that's why i said 360 minus 60 the 60 that was covered before then the relative distance is 300 kilometers okay 
so not that relative distance because it's normally used in uh, like the next question that we'll do it asks calculate the time the car met the bus the time the car met the bus formulas time is always relative distance of a speed but in this case since you're comparing to a month time equals to relative distance over relative speed relative distance we got it here go back to the explanation you can rewind come with umesau i love relative speed from the previous lesson i said that when two bodies are approaching to get the relative speed you add their respective speeds so there is 60 there is 40 so when you add 60 and 40 you get 100 so time taken is relative distance of a relative speed which is equals to 300 divided by 100 which is the same as three hours now this is the time taken time taken for the two bodies to meet but it's not exact time if you want to get the exact time you go back to the question then check the time you began this calculation this calculation began at eight when both these two bodies are moving so to say mom 8 a.m plus this time here three hours it means from 8 a.m it took three hours for these two bodies to meet so when you add these two you'll get 11 a.m so it means the time that the two bodies met was at 11 a.m okay next the next is a question d the distance from a to the meeting point distance from a to the meeting point there are two methods i'll show you the first method it's faster we know that distance equals to speed times time so when they say distance from a a is here to the meeting point where they met sometimes the question could have read the distance the car covered to meet with the bus the same same thing couldn't difference so now you come back to <coughs> the formula the formula is distance equals to speed times time which is equals to speed from a is 60 higher time taken for the car to meet the bus utasema they met at 11 a.m and the car left at seven get the time difference between 11 and seven and that time difference is uh, four hours so then time taken for them to meet is four hours so it will be distance covered equals to the speed which was 60 multiplied by four and the answer is uh, 240 kilometers that's the first method the next method is uh, um, <coughs> I've drawn the same same sketch but um, with some illustrations here. Next method, there's two methods. You can choose which one is okay with you. So the next method is uh, the distance from A to B was 360. So you see, I said, let's say this is the meeting point, meeting point. Then the distance covered from A to the meeting point, let it be X. Since the whole distance was 360, then the distance from B to the meeting point will be 360 minus this distance, which is X. Okay, we have the speeds. I hope you didn't forget about the speeds. Speeds are still there. So, we have to form an equation in this formula. And the equation would be based on time. In this topic later on, to sum up here, sometimes you tend to form so many equations and equations are normally based on time will do that so this left at seven this year left at uh, 8 a.m i repeat this left at seven this left at eight so in a manisha one left one hour before the other one so in a manisha there is a time difference between these two bodies which is uh, this time minus this time and it's one hour okay now so time taken from this point a to the meeting point and time taken from B to the meeting point will differ by one hour. We know that time equals to distance of a speed. So I will say the time difference of this and the time difference of this equals to one. So A 
to the meeting point the distance is x speed ni 60 so ina maanisha a took this time b distance is 360 minus x speed is 40 so 360 minus x divided by 40 it means it took this time so the time taken by a minus the time taken by b should be equals to one hour so back to this question here solve the algebraic expression now if you solve this as you can see from the working you will end up getting uh, that answer which is uh, 240 so you can either use this method where you compare the times taken to the meeting point so if you had difference in times here you will say first get the time difference between the two then get the distances say time minus that time equals to that time difference will still give you the same same answer so i hope you've uh, um, um i'm tempted to do another example but i'm fearing that uh neither are confused so let me just for now upload this first